All right, let's let's turn our attention to the English, which we always, which has dominated this group. That conversation uh, they take on a Czech Republic team that's top of the group. When you think about England right now, Casey, going forward, we know people have been pleased with their performances to this point. What needs to be different in this final 90 minutes of the group stage? Well, I think a, a lot of pressure, and I was even one of them that put them as is the potential top goal scorer for this tournament in Harry Kane, and we just haven't seen the best of Harry Kane. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's a player that we just all expect to you know, be on the score sheet almost every time he steps out, and it just hasn't been his tournament so far. Uh, the service. Do you think all the transfer stuff is affecting him? Because right now there's the question of will he return to Spurs or not? Does that affect a player at all? I this think situation? It, well, it, it's always in your head. I mean, it can't be out. It's impossible. But, but he's got enough experience that that it shouldn't bother him to that level. He just, you know, they, they, even Southgate has said he's he's looked lethargic, and you just don't expect to see that from Harry Kane. At the same time, I think the wide play hasn't been consistent enough. We know they have England has such dynamic wide players taking players on and, and, and getting themselves in good situations. And it consistently hasn't been the attacking play I've mm. expected to see no, from this I, talented I think, England squad. And i tell you what's affecting him more than any transfer talk is the fact that England are passing it from side right. to side yeah. to side. There's no initiative. Back the way to the full back to the centre half. It's too, it's too slow. And I think here we have this, you know, this England side has, its, has one or two issues. But they're not in the attacking sense of their game. And here we have a manager so far in this tournament who's yet to take the shackles off. Mm -hmm. He's yet to take the reins off these players. Uh, we've not seen Jaden Sancho yet, really. We... Uh not seen much of Rashford. We saw a little bit of Grealish. It was a surprise when Sterling started the first game. Yes, he scored. Didn't do much against Scotland. So I just think he needs to let this England team flow and breathe a bit better. And as Casey said, then we might see the football that we expected of this side. And now the Mason Mount and Chilwell, as we mentioned, may not be available for this game. They're isolating. In terms of that, that effect on this English team, who replaces those guys, or is, are they going to miss them? What do you, you, think? you have so much talent yeah, on do. this team. So I actually don't think that's much of a hiccup. Mount, obviously, in that attacking center midfield role. But you could go with a Jude Bellingham. You could go um, with uh, Foden in the middle there, right? And maybe Sancho up high, Grealish up high. I mean, there's so many options that they have to choose from. It's not who, it's the style of play. And right now, they are not playing with freedom. Well, they still are sitting right there at four points, though, in second place. But as bad as they've looked, they still can finish atop the group. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.